chakra-chakraing friends. It is me, Maria, your independent chakra couture designer. Woot, woot! Sunday night. Sunday night. Almost Monday. Sunday night. It's almost Monday. Woohoo, let's chalk. Woohoo, let's chalk. We're gonna do some chalk. Woo! <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Blues, clues, blues, clues. Am, am I dating myself? Okay, so you're either, your kids are too little or too old to know blues, clues, blues, clues, or your kids are too little to know blues, clues. That's what he did. Blues, clues. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of blues, clues. Because I was really picky about what I let my kids watch. And I only let them watch certain shows. And Blue's Clues was one of them. Because Blue's Clues was a cool show. Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. <laughs> Sunday. I'm making Maria. I'm your independent chalk couture designer. And we are making an adorable little address sign tonight. From my gallery wall. Because <laughs> I need to make it from my gallery wall. So you might as well tag along, right? We are going to use a uh, font transfer tonight. We haven't used font transfers very much, so I'm going to teach you how to use the registration marks and line up everything on your font transfer so that you can completely personalize. Because every once in a while you want to make something that is just unique to you and you want to personalize it and the font transfers are how you do that. Linda Linda says her grandkids watched Blue's Clues. Thanks, Linda Linda, for making me feel better. Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues. Maybe that's what my theme song should be. Making Maria, make, no, no, okay. <laughs> I need to go to the grocery store. I need to get out of the house. Anyway, so Blue's Clues is what I have on the brain because I went like that and now I got that stuck. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that out. So when you want to personalize something, you have an option, and it's called font transfers, F-O-N-T, just in case I am not enunciating, enunciating properly. Um, and the one that we're going to use tonight is the Sans Farah, Sarah, Sans Farah, Sarah? I never say it right, but you, you know what I mean. It's in the catalog, <laughs> the Sans Serif font. The font transfers are amazing because they are extremely easy to use. And I have to be honest, always, I was not excited about the font transfers because I'm lazy and I don't want to line stuff up and then I line it up and it's never straight and it's not spaced right and I'm a hot mess on a regular basis. I don't need using a font transfer to, you know, make me feel like more. So, I resisted for a very long time using the fonts, and then they came out with these registration marks. OMG, made it so much easier. You don't have to worry about spacing, you don't have to write lining it up, you don't have to worry about it being straight. It does the work for you. You can whip out personalized signs quickly and easily without an issue. And that is what I am going to show you how to do this evening. We are going to use the sans serif font transfer, which is ginormous. It's an E size transfer. It's a very fun font, very, you know, sans serif. Blackish, very simple, not super scrolly, not fancy, not any of those, you know, amazing, wonderful things, but it's a really cool, block letter, which is what I like about it. I'm not this always scrolly, fancy font person. So this is the transfer that we're using. We're using it to make a very cute, and I already have my um, painter's tape on it, but we're using it to make a very cute little sign for my gallery wall that I am creating uh, for out here. We made the typewriter sign the other day for that wall, and now we're making this because I'm uh, taking over that wall and redoing it. So I need to stop here for a moment and say hello to everybody who is commenting and joining me. Hello, Miss Linda Linda and Miss Cheryl. Linda Squared is here. Hello, Sheila. I need to go to the store, but not sure if you're ready. Hey, Miss Miller. How are you, Mrs. Miller? I've been thinking about you like crazy. Lisa GV is here. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do. So I'm making Maria, I'm an independent chalk couture designer, which is the best job in the whole wide world because I get to hang out with you guys, I get to create beautiful things, I get to have lots and lots of fun, and I get to make 
a little money at it while I do it. So, you know, it's like the best of all worlds. And Chalk Couture is an amazing company. We sell adhesive silk screen transfers. Well, what does that mean? That means you get this cute little thing. It's sticky. Oops, let me back that up. It's sticky on one side and a silk screen in it, okay? It has red, the fonts have registration marks on them and they are reusable. You can use them over and over and over again to create many, many beautiful things and lots and lots of different looks, which is kind of why the font transfers are so nice because they are reusable so you can totally make anything that you want to make. I'm One of these days we're going to make a little sign that says Make It Maria for my new little craft room with the fonts, but I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> so what I wanted to do, and I know this looks kind of crazy, but uh, what this is, is this is a drawer front. And I like to, sometimes before we do social distancing, I like to um, kind of treasure hunt is probably the best word for it at some of the thrift stores as well as we have a home improvement thrift store kind of thing, the Habitat Restore. We have several of them around me. Um, and a lot, they often have cabinet doors, drawer fronts, which is what this is. It has no holes in it, so it's perfect. Um, sometimes you gotta, you gotta search for these though. You gotta hunt for them, but that's what this is. Basically, it's, it's the, a cabinet door. A drawer, cabinet drawer front is what this is. And what I want to do is I want to put my zip code on it, which I know sounds bizarre. But not that long ago, our village changed all the street signs and they got very smart and they auctioned off the street signs. You know, those reflective green signs that say the name of the road you live on. And I bought the sign from the road of the house we lived in when we got married. So our first house, I bought that sign. So in our wall of all of our pictures of the, our family, I want to put that road. I need to get the one for our current road and our zip code. So I thought that would just be kind of fun to have a cute little zip code on a cute little drawer front. Now, why do I have blue painters taped down? I have blue painters taped down because I don't want to chalk the registration marks on the drawer because I don't want to risk them changing the color of the white. I was originally going to use black. That's why I was worried about that. Um, but, and by having the painter's tape down, I can wash, or I don't have to wash it off. I can just pull the painter's tape off and I can still do the registration marks. So that's how you get around doing registration marks when you're on a surface that you don't want to leave them permanently or you can't wash them off. So for example, if you were gonna ink this on a towel or ink anything on a towel with a font and it had a registration mark on it, you would want to put painter's tape down so you can take advantage of being able to line everything up, but not have to worry about it putting a permanent mark on your surface. So that's how you do that. Hello, Miss Amanda. Hello, Lisa GV. Hello, Miss Paige from Texas. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So that's this is my zip code, except it's missing one number because there's two twos in my zip code. <laughs> oh, I had to think about that. Oh, that'll be next. I'm going to do my zip code wrong. <laughs> it's Sunday. So are you guys excited about tomorrow night? I spent all day today working on our little pop-up bundle sale that we're having. Or not pump pop-up bundle, like, group, make it Monday, I don't know how, what, what we should call it, but um, I've started taking pictures of all the cute little bundles we've got put together, I've got some really fun stuff, um, so that you can cure some boredom, right, um, have some cute, inexpensive, uh, pretty, everything is, like, pretty well discounted, so you want to be in the Making Maria VIP group because that's where the pop-up bundle sale is going to happen on tomorrow night. You don't have to watch it live in order to take advantage of the bundles. I will post the pictures probably during the day as soon as I have them all done. And um, as soon as I have them all done, I'll start posting them. The biggest key is some of the transfers are retired, so if they're retired, I only have a certain number of them. But otherwise, if they're not the retired transfers, I can order them so I'm not worried about running out of the supply I have. So um, I will I will put 
like asterisks on the ones that are retired that I have a limited number on so that you know. Miss Amanda wants to know, do you also have letters the same size? Well, yes, Miss Amanda. Funny, you should ask. There's a, this is a whole big font transfer, Amanda. Ah, stuck on that. It's called the Sans Serif font. It's an E size transfer and it's the whole alphabet and all the numbers. So you can completely create anything that you want. You can spell out anything that you want. Um, it's really a fun way to get, because you can completely personalize. There are several font transfers. So I'm gonna show you how to use them. I'm gonna show you how to use these cute little registration marks. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You're gonna be amazed at how quickly we just whip this bad boy out. Okay, so my zip code is 53122. Okay, we got them in the right order. <laughs> Um, we're putting my zip code on here because, as I said a little bit earlier, I am making a sign for a gallery wall in my house that um, I have a street sign that has the name of the street that we, our first house that we moved, lived in when we were married. Um, and then I'm working on the street sign for the street we live on now, and then this. I have letters in my address, and I would love to make an address sign for your house wall. That's perfect. Um, there's a couple different uh, fonts, Amanda. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over our transfers. I have already cut my transfer apart. It has those little cut lines on them that you saw, I just cut them apart. I'll move you guys down a little bit. This is my five, my three, my one, and my two. So you write the number of the, or the name of the transfer on the back of it for a very important reason. Our silk screen transfers are reusable. By being reusable, that means you can use them over and over again. So if you store them properly, you can get a long, long life out of them. So what happens is you're gonna store it back on this piece of paper when you're all done. So one side of your transfer, your backer sheet is shiny, which you can't really see very well today, and one side is dull. By writing what the transfer is that belongs on this backer sheet, on the back of it, it makes it really easy to put them away. Really easy to put them away. Hello, Miss Terry from Texas. Hello, Miss Carol. Welcome, everybody. So I'm gonna have to play with where my painter's tape is. So I wanna take advantage of the registration marks, but I need to be able to um, chalk the letter without the painter's tape being in the way. And again, because this is a drawer front, it has this ridge on it. So I have to be careful with it. So the biggest key is make sure your very first number is lined up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you up, up close. So see, I have it lined up and I have my registration marks. The painter's tape is underneath it, but it's not underneath my silk screen. Okay, that's important. So I'm gonna put my transfer down and I can't put the other ones down until I have this one done, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is We've learned, if you have ever watched me do the uh, font transfers before, we've learned that if you're going to chalk your registration marks, do it in a light color because the painter's tape is blue. Now, if your painter's tape isn't blue or if you're using masking tape that's a different color, then it's not a big deal. But because my painter's tape is blue, if I chalk on it with my gray storm chalk, it's going to be very hard for me to see it when I go through it. So I've learned if I chalk it in white, let me see the colors. If I chalk it in white, it is much easier for me to see it when I go to line it up. So the first thing I do is I make sure I have all my air out. I stirred my chalks up already. They're all good to go. They're a wonderful consistency. I need two squeegees. I need one to do the white and one to do, I, you guys must be zoomed in because you are not seeing as much as you normally see. Um, I have two squeegees. This is the small, or I'm sorry, the mini squeegee, super, super tiny, super, super cute. And this is a bigger squeegee that I cut into smaller pieces because when it's time to do my registration marks, I don't need a big squeegee. I just need a little zoom, zoom, okay? Your squeegee has a flat side and a beveled side. Your beveled side's your front, so that's the side you're gonna dip into your chalk. So I take my transfer, or I'm sorry, take my squeegee. I just load it up with chalk paste like so and I cover up my silk screen. 
a squeegee straight up and down and I scrape all that excess paste off. I am not painting, I am not padding. I am squeegeeing. Okay, so now I need to do my registration marks. So I grab my little white guy and I'm gonna just chalk my registration marks. Now this is gonna get a little tricky because my registration marks are on the beveled part of the... So we're gonna hope this works. We'll see. And I pull my transfer off. It worked carefully, so I don't wanna stretch it. Okay, and I take this and I stick it right in my water bath. So it kinda worked. I didn't need to do these two because I'm not putting anything over there. So see, I have my little half moons. Ooh, you've got lousy lighting today. I've got my little half moons that are there and I've got my number. Now I need to dry my number before I put my next number down. Very important to dry it, otherwise you'll smudge it and smear it when you go to put your next transfer down because it's gonna lay over it a little bit. So you just wanna make sure you're dry. So in my gallery wall, with the pictures of all the kids, what I've done is every year I've taken a picture of my kids. It's also our Christmas card picture every year, similar to our Christmas, it's not the one I send in the Christmas card, but it's I take it on the same day. So ever since I've had all four kids, every year I take a picture of all four of them together and it's always a black and white. I know, you're all shocked. It's a black and white picture. Um, quite honestly, it's a black and white picture because then I don't have to worry about their outfits matching. <laughs> I learned that a long time ago, that if I did it in black and white, it didn't matter if one had you know yellow on and the other one had blue on or whatever, it just didn't matter. So they've always been black and white. So that's probably where my original love for black and white came from. But I've always loved black and white pictures. So in there, now we're gonna put our cute little typewriter that we made the other night and we're gonna stick this picture. So now actually I am gonna zoom you in. So I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see how I'm gonna line this up. So see, I have this little moon guy here. So you can see, I have the moon guy here. I need to make him match on the top and on the bottom. So you can see the little white guy on the other side. And all you have to do is line them up. So see, I can see the white half moon and he's actually a little off. See how he's not really quite a moon yet. Hang on, we gotta fix him. That's how you, oops, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. That's because I zoomed you in. That's how you do this. And it's super easy. It makes very light work of lining things up. Okay. Oops, now I'm too high. Too low. Part of it's because of the bevel. It just makes it a little weird. Having bright light where you're doing this also helps you see the white through the transfer. Okay. Oops, now my painter's tape goes higher. Oops. Yeah, gotta get my air out too. All right, so see, I have my painter's tape is a little too far down. Just make sure, I'm just checking my little moons. Make sure we're pretty close to being little moons. But I am gonna move my painter's tape down. Now, I don't need it here anymore. Let me just take this painter's tape off. Because I really just need it. So now we're gonna do our three. 
We're going to do the same thing. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, wrong way. See, you were zoomed in. Okay. So, now we're just going to do our three. Just cover up. Do the same exact process. Do our little painter's tape. Oh, and again, you don't have to do the other side. <laughs> I always do that. You only need to do the side that you're going to keep going in. Pull off your transfer, stick it in your water bath. Dry it. And hope we have enough space that all the numbers fit. <laughs> That's my only worry. Just that very tight squeeze. So I'm hoping our last little two isn't hanging off the edge. Could be interesting if he is. Just make sure he's dry. And then we take our one. Peel it off its backer sheet. And make our little moon, guys. So I have to tell you, so Joseph is gone, and I was down here, and I was laughing today. Um, he's playing, Joseph is playing PlayStation with Charlie. Charlie's here, Joseph's not. He's playing PlayStation with Charlie. And Charlie is giggling and laughing and having the absolute time of his life because his big brother is playing PlayStation with him. It was the cutest darn thing in the whole wide world. And I did one of those, ah, oh, I guess my kids do like each other moments. <laughs> Cause you know, a lot of times you really wonder if they like each other. Okay, so I'm pulling off my one, take my one, stick it in my water bath. Dry it. Super quick, very easy to do. Make sure it's dry. Chalk dries extremely quickly. So if you're new to our chalk and party, say hi. Tell us where you're from. We're all over the country. So now, the two, it, we're going to do two, two, because that's my zip code. Five, three, one. Oh, we got plenty of room. We're going to fit. Five, three, one, two, two. Yep. Um, we're making a cute little zip code sign for on my gallery wall with all my pictures with my family because I'm kind of redoing things right now. Because, you know, isn't that what everybody's doing right now, is redoing all your home decor? <laughs> because not only are you staring at it all day, um, but you, you have time to do the things that you've been wanting to do, right? Okay, same thing. Just zip down my two. Now, this one I'm not going to put in my water bath, because we're going to use it right away. But I want to really make sure that I have all that extra paste squeegeed off so I don't have to wash it in between. Like it so far, good idea for address sign. Well, hey, Natalie, how are you? Oh my goodness, I miss seeing you. How are your kids? How are you doing? Are you surviving our social distancing? Okay, pull off our two, but again, I'm not gonna put it in my water bath. And I don't have to worry about the doing the registration marks again because this is our last number. So now I wanna dry it. Oops. And I got chalk where I didn't want it, so I just have to quick wash that off. We ended up with 10 puppies. Holy cow, Virginia. That's a lot of puppies. That poor woman or dog. <laughs> Eight. All right, girl power. Eight girls, two boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Girl power. I live in a house of mostly boys, so anytime that girls outnumber boys, it's a good thing sometimes. Okay, so I just need to get rid of the... Chalk paste I got on. So washing that off. Our two is dry. We are doing good trying to survive. LOL, kids getting restless. I understand kids getting restless. So one of the things that is actually in our little sale tomorrow, 
the bundle sale, the boredom buster kind of boredom sale we're doing tomorrow, is some fun kid activities. Um, for those of you who have little kids, there are some really fun things you can do with chalk. Because first of all, kids can chalk. Um, anybody can chalk, really. But kids can totally chalk. So there's some really cute little bundles for tomorrow night's bundle sale that are specifically designed for little kids, like five and under, where it's games that you can play with our chalkable chips and one of the mini transfers. So super fun little thing to do. Um, and that you can wash off and redo it over and over again and kind of get your value out of the money for the transfers as well as the mini chocolate chips because kids are getting, you know, we all need something to kind of keep them going every once in a while. And what's nice to me about chalk is you can wash it off. So they're bored, oh, well let's redo this or let's do this or let's come up with this idea. Okay, so I'm just quick washing off my transfer because it was gunky. Hey Verge, they are so darn cute and the mom is back to her three three walks a day really she just had 10 babies and she's taking three walks a day that is a mean owner that is making that poor dog go out three times a day <laughs> I mean that is just mean okay so now I pull out my painters tape and we have a very adorable little zip code sign on a drawer front so this is a drawer, like a kitchen cabinet drawer front that I got at Habitat Restore. Um, but there's, you know, any kind of thrift store cabinet makers sometimes have them. Um, Home Depot sometimes will have them. Um, when we used to have a hobo, which was a home, I don't know what hobo stood for, but like home, I don't know, homeowners, I don't know. It was uh, like a discounted warehouse type place um, they would sell their samples cabinet doors and it was ni what's nice about them is they didn't have the holes in them hey Angela from Texas welcome welcome okay so this is our super cute little zip code sign now if I wanted to be critical which I will be it's not lined up right there's too much space on this side I was worried about that because I was worried about where how to line them up. And you know, I don't measure anything. If I'd have measured it, I could have centered it properly. I should have I should have started in the center with the one and gone this way. No, I can totally fix that. I can wash it off and start all over. Because as we learned from the little dots I got on it, the gray's not leaving any residue on the white. So it's very easy to just wash it off and start over. Personally, I like to call them uh, fix it. Angela, I'm not going to fix it. It's a Maria original. It's not perfect. Like Maria. <laughs> They're not mine. Turtle Mountain Rescue. She needs the walks to get some rest from those puppies. Okay, I don't think going for three walks a day after you're taking care of ten puppies is resting. I don't know. I don't know anything about dogs, Verge. Hey, John. Welcome, welcome. So, this is our cute and adorable little zip code sign it's gonna go right on my wall add a flower I could add a flower I, I'm just leaving the space <laughs> it's like no man's land it's not that up on the wall nobody's gonna stare at it that much Angel you are so funny add a little ribbon yes I could add a little ribbon it would be black and white it would be because that the pictures are all black and white on the wall all right should I cave to the peer pressure? I don't, it's probably not wide enough. I mean, it's just a little tiny difference. And it's on the wrong side to be adding a ribbon. It's kind of goofy. Put a little ribbon there. That just looks. Natalie says, yes, a ribbon or whatever can save it. Thank you. And Virginia, thank you, Verge. Verge said a black and white ribbon would fix it. Yep, yeah, I could do that. It doesn't bother me though, <laughs> because I look at it and I say, oh look, mom made a sign and she didn't measure anything. <laughs> My OCD is going nuts. Oh, Angela, you gotta get over that. You just, it's just the fun of crafting. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I could totally wash it off and I might, 
before I hang it up. This wall is so far from being done, I got a lot of time. It's not going to be done for probably a year at the rate I'm going. Yeah, no ribbon, right? Thin burlap ribbon. Yeah, I could. I'm not a burlap ribbon kind of gal, though. Oh, you guys are going to make me wash this damn thing off. Oh, sorry. Darn thing off, aren't you? I could add a little scroll. Or I could just wash it off and fix it. Wait until you have to take care of those puppies at about three weeks. You will be doing it every four hours, feeding them and taking them out. Oh, my gosh. I agree, Verge. The uh, ribbon is not fixing it. Hey, Vicki. Welcome to our trucking party. Okay, so tomorrow night, big day. If anybody has ever thought about chalking, wanted to chalk, even considered chalking, we are doing a pop-up bundle sale. And it's going to be back here at 9 o'clock tomorrow night, Central Standard Time. You do not have to watch it live. You can watch the replay, or I will be posting the bundles in the Making Maria VIP group. So you can, this isn't like a live sale. This is just a, these are some bundles I've put together that are inexpensive to kind of help pass some time. Thank you, Darlene. Darlene thinks I should just leave it. Thanks, Darlene, for being an athletic supporter. Thank you, Linda, Linda. Linda, she says it looks fine just the way it is, too. So there, there, Angela. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, that's all I got tonight. I just quick, easy little project because I've spent all day putting bundles together and making pictures, and you should see behind me. I got transfers and surfaces galore. We're going to have so much fun. But there'll be... All kinds of different price ranges from $5 to, I think the most expensive one is $25. And if you spend 50 bucks, it's a special deal. So you could get some really fun stuff and I'll just stick them right in the mail to you or you can do porch pickup, whichever is easier for you. So tomorrow night, nine o'clock, I'll actually show you, you know, why I put together what I put together and you know, but you can totally change it up too. I'm rambling. It's time for me. You know what happens when Maria rambles? It's time to hit the end button. That's the fun of home crafts. It's not perfect. Thank you, Natalyn. And she likes it the way it is, too. I knew I liked you, Natalyn. Thank you very much. All right, this is my cute little zip code sign. So this is one of those projects that literally I have had for a year and a half to make. It's been in my pile for a year and a half. So we are really making some good progress on all of Maria's projects. So thank you all so much for helping me craft. If you want to check out any of these amazing products, you can go to www.chocolatecouture.com slash making Maria. This is the sans serif font. I used storm chalk paste and white chalk paste to do my registration marks. Um, also, if you're not in the VIP group, which is where the uh, sale is happening tomorrow night for or tomorrow for the bundles, the uh, Make It Monday bundles, all the fun stuff. And there's a lot of them, would you, and a lot of them where you get to pick your transfers. So, um, if you're not in the Making Maria VIP group, that's where you want to be because that's where all the fun happens. You want to either comment, add me, or go right in your search bar, type in Making Maria's VIP group, and request to join. And then you can see all these fun things that we're going to do tomorrow night. Um, if you can please send me out into the world, it helps me tremendously when you do that. So thank you, thank you to everybody who takes the time to push that button. The Club Couture transfer is um, one of the easiest bundles that we do. So if you're curious at all about the club, you can comment club and I will uh, get you that information. Last but not least, being an independent designer is truly the most fun job I have ever had in the whole wide world because it's not really a job, it's just a lot of fun. I get to talk to people, I get to meet people, I get to teach workshops, I can sell finished product, I can uh, I can do whatever I want with this designership. So if you're curious at all about what it means to be a designer or have any desire to maybe earn a little extra money, you can comment curious and I would be more than happy to send you the information. And then you can just take a look at it and decide if you think it's something that you'd want to do. Whew, I think that's all my commercials. Thank you so much for watching me. I hope you have an amazing, amazing Monday. And I will be back at you tomorrow night for some super, super fun. So thanks, guys. I hope you have a great day. See ya. Helps if I push the right buttons. <laughs> have a great night.